Now, one of the probably first things that you're going to want to do is just understand how your employees can clock in and clock out of the system. We'll cover that now since we're already here in this front screen. Uh, it's very simple. You're just going to have either a mouse uh, click on the uh, clock icon here, or you would, uh, if you have it, a touch screen, then you would just touch your finger there in the corner of the screen, and it's going to bring up a login for us. Now, in this screen, it's always going to ask us for the password first and then the user ID. This is something that throws people off the first time or two they're using the system because when you log in over here on the left uh, to actually use a system, it asks you in the reverse order for your ID first and then your password. So just don't get confused. When you see this screen, it always starts off saying enter your password. So uh, your employees should have uh, user IDs and passwords that are assigned. Uh, in the beginning, you should have a quick start guide that tells you what your default uh, user ID and password is so that you can log into the system and practice with this. When you log in, you're going to come to the time clock screen and we can just hit the clock in button and then we can leave for breaks and back from breaks and then at the end of the day we can clock out. You can also use the emergency clock out feature if we need to. But all this does is allow a quick way for your employees to log in and lock out of the system. Now, the other thing to be aware of here is when we come to the screen, if you don't have a keyboard and mouse available, uh, you can uh, click on the screen here where we're going to enter our password, and we can press the keyboard button. And what this does allow us to get into a screen here where we can actually navigate by touching the display if we have a touch screen and then press enter down here. Same thing, once we come down to the user ID screen, we can press keyboard again, enter our ID, and we'll be on our way to the login screen. Keep in mind that quite a few screens have that keyboard function, and uh, just be aware looking for that. If you're struggling, if you don't have a mouse and keyboard, uh, that that's a more user-friendly way for you possibly.